Come on and bless them. 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 Do we want to please them on this morning? Come on and worship, worship, worship. Yeah, come on and worship. Let's get the atmosphere worship. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Cry out, Zion. Cry out, Zion. Cry out as if your healing depended on it, Zion. Do you need something from God on this morning? Cry out, Zion. Oh, put those hands together and clap as if the enemy was between them. Clap, 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 clap. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah. And we bless your name, Jesus. And we honor your name, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the healing name of Jesus. In the saving name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is his name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Bless his name. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, people of God. Put those blessed hands together.
God Jesus because you've been so good you've been so great Lord Jesus Lord you've been so kind we just can't make this an ordinary service hallelujah thank you Jesus this ain't no Yeah. 
Job and how he was broken and how hallelujah he had lost it all hallelujah Job fell down on his face and began to worship and I don't care what you're going through on today I don't care what pains you're dealing with I don't care what you're struggling with just begin to worship God hallelujah come on just begin to tell him how much you love him tell him how great he is in the pain you're going through tell him how strong he is in the weakness you feel come on give him praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him praise even in that broken place. Give him praise even in that struggling place. Give him praise even in that place of discomfort. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help him say this is no ordinary. How can I give an ordinary worship to an extraordinary God? Hallelujah. Shout, he's extraordinary. I can't hear you shout, he's extraordinary. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, even when I was seeking in sin, his love for me was extraordinary. Come on, give him praise. His love for me, even my place of pain. His love in me in my place of loss. His love for me is extraordinary. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, when he healed my body, he was extraordinary. Hallelujah. When he kept me in my right mind, he was extraordinary. Come on, give him praise. When I was lost, hallelujah. When I was struggling with addiction, he was an extraordinary God. Pick me up. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. Begin to worship. I don't care where you are in your life. He's extraordinary. Hallelujah. He's extraordinary. I don't care what you in. God is able to pull you out. He's able to pull you out of depression. He's able to pull you out of mourning. Come on, give him glory. Give him glory. Though you slay us, God, yet will we trust you. We trust you with our lives. Hallelujah. Because you're an extraordinary God. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him glory. Even in that place of pain. I sense pain in the room. Free yourself of that pain. Free yourself of that pain. Free yourself of that discomfort. He's greater. His love is greater. His power is greater. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him praise. I don't hear nobody. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, the Lord wants to do something different in this atmosphere. Hallelujah, how many hungry for God on today? You don't want a snack. You don't want a hallelujah. But you want the fullness of God in your life. Well, give him glory on today. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout glory. Hallelujah. 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 When I lay my burdens down, I begin to feel better. 
this is the time for you to lay your burdens down. For when you lay your burdens down at the altar, I guarantee you the presence of God. Oh, I feel like it on today. Hallelujah. I'm tired of Satan touching God's people. Hallelujah. Come, I come from war today. Shall I come from war today? Shall I come from war today? Hallelujah. For the enemy is trying to take our minds. He's trying to take our prayer life. He's trying to take our joy. But this Lord that we have the world. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Shout glory. Hallelujah. 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 Shout, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free to worship. I'm free to praise. I'm free to live. Hallelujah. Some of us not living, we just existing. But hallelujah, turn to your neighbor said, I'm free to live. Glory to God. Glory to God. I sent some breakthroughs getting ready to happen on today. Hallelujah. If you need a breakthrough, come on, shout hallelujah. Say, Lord, I need a breakthrough. I need a healing. I need your touch. I need to feel you like never before. Oh, God. Hallelujah. 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 Just call his name Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Something happens when you call Jesus' name. Barriers become open. Hallelujah. Shackles fall off. Hallelujah. Shout the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to tell you that the breaker is here. Hallelujah. The breaker is here. Hallelujah. That's the order of service. The Holy Spirit is here. And what you need is in this room. Shout what I need is in this room. What I need is in this sanctuary. Come on, shout. I need a blessing. Shout. I need a miracle. Shout. I need a healing. Shout. I need a breakthrough. Shout. I need deliverance. Come on, shout to the top of your lungs. For your hallelujah. God is looking for those who are desperate. Oh, God. Come on, give them praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Get out of your comfort zones. If you need to run, run. If you need to dance, dance. If you need to cry, cry. Shout. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. How many know that hallelujah is the highest praise? So when the highest praise happens, the kingdom of Satan becomes destroyed. So give up the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, give him praise. Just think of one thing that he's done for you. Just begin to think of one thing that only God could do. You know it was God. Hallelujah. 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 It ought to make you dance. It ought to make you cry. It ought to make you run. When I think of the goodness of Jesus. Y'all excuse me. But I sense some pain in the room today. And as an intercessor, hallelujah, we stand in the gap for God's people. Get your strength back on today. Get your peace back on today. Get your joy back on today. Hallelujah, it's in the room. Shout is in the room. Shout is in the room. It's in the room. Hallelujah, that silent suffering you're going through, your peace is in the room. Hallelujah, the old mother said, come on in the room. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus is my doctor. He writes out all my prescriptions. Hallelujah, he says, shout is in the room. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah, just begin to worship him. Are we going to read the response of reading? Hallelujah. But just begin to worship him. Hallelujah. You're free to worship. Hallelujah. 
For we serve an extraordinary God. So we can't give him an, an ordinary worship. Because he's too good to us. Even in our affliction, his grace and his mercy is enough to keep me, hallelujah, lifting my hands. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. This morning's responsive reading is going to come from Hebrews 11. Hey, hey. Verses 1 through 6. But before we read our responsive reading, we want to read our purpose statement, our vision statement, and our mighty, mighty g Cop motto. Shout is in the room. Hallelujah. Let us begin with our purpose statement. God's ex vision statement. We envision God using us as a cultivator of his harvest into the soil area and throughout the world. Furthermore, we envision cultivating a harvest through our ministry, such as preaching, child care, adult daycare, apartment Bible study, children and youth field day, and quarterly evangelism outreach. And our mighty G Cop motto. Our responsive reading will come from Hebrews verse, uh, chapter 11, verses 1 through 6. I will read the minister, you'll read the people, and we come together at all. Now faith is confidence in what we hope for, and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith, Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as righteous. When God spoke well of his offerings, and by faith, Abel still speaks, even though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For being he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. Because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. And the word of the Lord is already blessed. Let us receive the music ministry. Thank you. 
Exciting welcome.
time in the house we invite anyone who wants to come to the altar at this time to come you want to kneel at your seat you may do so whatever the Lord plays on your heart to do at this time it's prayer time in the sanctuary we thank God for the opportunity to pray in some places you can't just pray openly like this so we thank you God for the opportunity of prayer this is a way we communicate with God and you tell him your needs and you tell him your wants, your desires. Because God already really knows. He just wanted us to open up our mouths and communicate with him. So we want at this time lift up uh, those who are sick in our, in our sanctuary, those who are sick in our, in our congregation, those who are on bed rest. Then we want to lift up those who have lost loved ones. We want to lift up the Eastgate family, Reverend Pryor, and his home going. We want to lift him up and lift his wife up and lift his children up. We want to lift up those who, we, who others who have lost loved ones and gone on to be with the Lord. And we, you know, I, I, we say lost, but I think when we, when people go on to be with the Lord, that's when God just has called them home to a place that was as, is theirs. And I don't think we've lost them because in our hearts we still have their presence. We still have their memories. So we're thankful for that and that God gives us that avenue of, of, of fitting our loved ones when he's called them home. So at this time, we want to we wanna pray. We want to petition God for things that, that are on our hearts and things that we haven't uttered or things that we don't care to utter. But the, but the psalmist in 34 and 8, it says, um, Oh, taste and see. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Then it says, blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Then Isaiah 26 and 4 says, it says, trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself is our rock eternal. So he wants us to take refuge in him. And he wants us to know that he is our rock. So I, I, I want you to know today that no matter what you're going through, no matter what circumstances you're dealing with, you can take refuge in God. He's your shelter. He's your hiding place. He's your protector. Then I want, he wants you to also know that he is our rock eternal. So that rock, rock is a place that you can, you can lean on. A rock is a place that ain't going to move. It ain't going to go anywhere. It's, it's, it's steady. So I want you to know that God is your rock eternal. And that eternal means that that's forever and that you don't have to worry about God moving and he don't have to worry about him swaying because God is, he's just steady. And that's what he is. He's a steady God. And that's what we need in times of trouble right now is a steady God. So God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, that we can taste you, God. We can taste you, God. We thank you, God, that we can see you, God. We can feel you, oh God. We thank you, God, in these times of trouble, oh God. And we're dealing with turmoil. We're dealing with strife, God. We thank you, God, that you're our rock eternal, oh God. We thank you, God, that we can take refuge in you, oh God. God. Oh God, we lift up our congregation to you today, God. God, we first want to lift, we want to thank you, God, for who you are in our lives, God. 
We want to thank you, God, because you tell us in your word, God, that you are a God who is our refuge, who is our rock, God. And we thank you for being that, oh God. We thank you, God, for giving us the avenue to come to you and to pray to you, oh God, to communion with you, to talk with you, God, and to tell you all that we're going through, oh God. I thank you, God, that when we go to you, oh God, that you're not going to tell anybody else what we tell you, oh God. We thank you, Jesus. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we, you tell us in your word, God, that we just need to come to you and pray to you, oh God, and tell you what we're feeling, tell you what we're, we're dis what's disturbing our minds, oh God, to tell you what's disturbing our heart, oh God, to tell you what we're feeling, oh God, to tell you what we're going through, oh God. We thank you, God, that you tell us that all we have to do is open up our mouth, God, and just commune with you and talk with you, God. We thank you, God, for the avenue of prayer, oh God. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus, we want to lift up those in our congregations who are going through right now, God. Who don't care to utter, God, those things that are dealing with on their hearts right now, God. But they're standing here at the altar, God, petitioning you, oh, God, for peace, oh, God. Petitioning you, oh, God, for joy, for discernment, for understanding, for wisdom, oh, God. We thank you, God, that we can come to you, God. That, God, when we come to you, oh, God, that you'll be our steady rock, oh God. That God, we can give you what we need, oh God. You can give us what we need. You can give us what we just, what we want, oh God. We thank you, God, for the opportunity, God, that we have in you, oh God. We, God, we pray for those who are on their sick beds now, God. Go to them, oh God, and, and feel, let them feel your presence, oh God. Let them feel, God, your healing, oh God, because you are Jehovah Rapha, oh God. You are our healer, oh God. So we ask in the name of Jesus, oh God, that you will go to them that are on their sick beds, oh God. Heal their bodies, oh God. Heal their minds, oh God. Give them peace in the midst of what they're going through, oh God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up those who have lost loved ones, oh God. God, we pray for the Eastgate family, oh God, and the, and the Reverend George Proud. We pray for his family, oh God. God, we thank you now, God, for his life and his time on this earth, oh God. We thank you for all the years he put into ministry for you, oh Jesus. Now we pray, God, that you give that church family peace, oh God. We pray you give them, God, a, 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 a hope, God, that sometimes they don't, they, right now they're not, understanding what happened oh God some of them perhaps oh God but you give them clarity and you give them understanding you give them discernment oh God God I pray that you touch their wife oh God give her comfort oh God give her comfort oh God and God I just pray right now that you touch our world oh God I pray for the family of the young man who got shot in his apartment oh God I pray God for his family oh God I pray for his mother, I pray for his sister, oh God. I pray for other family members, oh God. God, give them understanding of what happened, oh God. Let them feel your peace right now. Let them feel your comfort of joy right now, God. Oh God, right now, I pray even for the officer, God, that did the shooting, oh God. I pray for her mind, oh God. God, we don't know really what happened, oh God. Only you knows, oh God. But I pray justice would serve and be served, oh God. And that I know you, God. You're the true judge, oh God. So God, I pray now for anything, God, that is coming against our world right now. I pray right now and I lift up President Trump, oh God. I lift up his mind, oh God. I lift up his heart, oh God. I I'm asking you right now, God, just to go to him right where he is right now, God. Give him the wisdom from on high. Give him discernment, oh God, because he don't understand right now, God what he's doing to our world, God, but I know you know. I know you know, Jesus. I know you know all about it, oh God, because God, you tell us in your word, God, you said if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and heal the land, you'll heal the land, God. We got to turn from our wicked ways so you can heal the land, oh God. So I pray now that this congregation, oh God, this congregation, oh God, will lift you in prayer, God. And if it's anything that they're doing in their lives, oh God, that's going against what you say, oh God, help us to repent right now, God, in order that you can heal this congregation, oh God, in order that you can heal this land, oh God. So God, we come to you right now, God, thanking you 
Lord God, in the midst of our sin, in the midst of what we do wrong, oh God, that you have long suffering, oh God. You have long suffering, oh God. You have patience, oh God. And you just don't wipe us out in the middle of our sin, oh God. But you give us an opportunity to turn from our wicked ways, oh God. So in the name of Jesus right now, God, I pray that every individual in this congregation right now, God, God will open their mouth and say, God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry for what I did to you, oh God. I want to repent right now, God. I want to turn from my wicked ways, oh God. I want to, I want you to heal the land, oh God. But there's a prerequisite for you healing the land, oh God. You said that we got to turn from our wicked ways, oh God. So help us, oh God, to turn from our wicked ways, oh God. Help us, oh God, to be a people, God, who love you, oh God. To be a people, God, who cherish you, oh God. To be a people, God, who want to do the right thing, oh God. Oh God, we all want something from you, God, but we want to give you nothing, oh God. So help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Lord. 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We need a healing, oh, God. We need a healing, oh, God. We need a healing, oh 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 God. Jesus. 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 Glory to your name, oh God. 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 God, we lift you up, God. We lift you up, God. We lift you up, oh God. God, as the word come forth, oh God. As the word come forth, oh God. Oh God, let us get this word in our spirit, oh God. Let us get this word in our hearts, oh God. God, help us to be a better people, oh God. Help us to be a better people, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 people of God said, I invite you to continue to praise him. Amen. But well, that's what we've come to do. And I'm just thankful God's spirit is in the house. I'm thankful that his spirit is in this place. Amen. I invite you to stand to your feet. And if you would, turn to the 
148 division of Psalms. That's 148. Amen. Psalms 148. Ask that if the mic, if you would fix the monitors were, amen, that I can hear them, amen, and 